take a look at airships and pictures of airships that I have gotten over the years. And I believe airships are the key to the old world. Looks like they were do doing all kind of things with those balloons, as you'll see with those pictures. That tells a thousand words. So we go. Uh, this is the first one that I the oldest one found this old German book from 1697 and you can see this ship with balloons and a sail and that's why they are called airship because I guess the first one that they made was made out of a boat it looks like they were not landing on land with those type of thing you know there was water everywhere so they landed on water and then they had a sail so they can go on water and in the air and look they have how they made, how they know how much air you need is with water. You submerge in the water, look at the buoyancy, how much air you need for the weight, and it looks like they are this. I don't even know what the, what it is. same buoyancy as water is the same as the air that's what they are showing here but there's I think there's another technology that we do we don't have or is hidden from us today another depiction of an old book looks like And this one is just pimped out with everything they got, <laughs> even the, the world, I don't know. Cannot explain anything, I can only show. <laughs> and look, there's another small one here <laughs> attached to, it's like this giant city. Yeah, from the old German book, this fiction of different airships over the years it's probably the first type that they had victorian in the 1700s 1600s this i got actual actual picture of it this one too all different types of airships Again, same type of picture. Even airship with wings, real ship. You can see there's there's dates on this one, 17, 18, 1872, 17, 83. Same as same as this one. It doesn't make sense. At the end, this is like a not Phillips machine. Alexander Graham Bell produced this machine that looks like that. Look, they even uh, got anchors, <laughs> land anchors. Oh, wrong way and vintage pictures of blips. Look at this one. <laughs> they depicted it. 
lived in a house. A house. <laughs> Look, this one can go on land as well and as here. And the one, the old boat, real airship, lighter than hair ship. Is this? I don't think they were using hot air with these one. Probably. Helium? I don't know. They're called just lighter than air. Look, this is the technology that I was talking about. You see these balls with the rods? I'll show you later. Airship that crashes, the only thing they go recover are those balls. And there's like a something in it. Like what is it? I don't have the description and even if I had, it was written in German and I don't know anything about German. Another one of these baskets with balloons. Again, aeronautics. Parachutes. Ballooning, balloon with parachute and wings, just a bucket, some dimensions and shit. Under one of these Victorian, they had ships and airships. And I'll show you how this is a drawing of the first crash of airship was demonstrating an airship and supposedly crashed into a castle or ah, story again stories to make you not want to go on airships <laughs> like to go not want to go on a cruise ship not want to go on an airship not they make stories <laughs> it's a bunch of airship again look oh this one I uh, let go the first airship with parachute 1797 Jacques Carmet I don't know um, this is so look at this one umbrella <laughs> look at these Navigation, aerial navigation of the last decade. Or, yeah. <laughs> A lot of crazy shit going on in this picture. And this, I'll show later how this was a sport. What is that? Just a normal balloon. These are the French military balloons dropping bombs. Madame Blanchard team, she got caught fire in the chimney. What? Uh, and they see like those crashes, crash into the sea. The guy fell off. What the fuck did he jump out or what? Another. Just showing you that there are disasters that could happen. And you could die. Look, that was the French fleet of balloons dropping bombs on ship on the English. Showing that we use balloon for war. And this the date. It was the war between the French and the English. 
who cares about stories? And there, look, how many airship? There's as much airship than than sea ships. <laughs> and look, they have like things here. I bet they are like air mines <laughs> to stop the airship from coming. No, and they're, they're not just the thing. And they're, they are an everyday thing. If the military have, has it, the depiction of the day, steampunk used it just to make it like a surreal thing. Just a thing of stories, but they were they were real. Everybody knows. That's how they did a lot of shit. Travel, picture maps. Look, this is France, eighteen forty nine. Just traveling with those balloons and. This one has a steam engine system without gas. Ah, what? Dirigible of Emil G. It's presented at the Science Academy November 4th, 1830. This was this one as an engine. In 1830, what are those wings? I don't can't even explain to you what <laughs> what it is, man. Again, the French. No, that's a French and English <laughs> ship of peace. They're not dropping bombs anywhere. Again, <laughs> this is so crazy. Look at your pipes, steam pipes, wind generators. Ah, I don't can't even imagine what <laughs> what this is. It's just crazy. Again, the the, the airs. The balloon that I showed, they're showing it in the movie. This is a picture from a, I don't know, maybe a first balloon fair. Do I have a date? No, I don't have a date. Look, it was a thing. And again, how do you think they do? They draw or they take pictures of these things with this? It's the only way. It's the only way to get that high. By airship. Again, it's a giant one. Look at the size of this balloon. That's an arch. Those are people. Those are people inside. It's crazy. Another this. The beginning of ballooning. I don't know if anyone knows about <coughs> ballooning, but people use these balloons to travel and jump over shit. The human aeroplanes of the ages. They wanted to make this an Olympic sport. <laughs> it was a thing, man. Not just. Everyone wanted this shit. 
neck. You run and you jump in the air, you go up and come down smoothly. The jumping balloon, drilling new sky sport. <laughs> you got even a little wing. Look, I won't read all this, but you can pause and read it. Up she goes, a gas filled gas balloon, a jumping balloon, lifting a hundred of eighty pound man. And it weights only fifty pounds. Crazy shit. Again, I've got some ballooning. People were going crazy. Look at this popular mechanics from 1927. Showing the ballooning sport. <laughs> People jumping around with balloons. The cross country jumping with small balloons. Jumping over carts, over rivers. possibilities of the new balloon sport jumping single bound possibly cover a distance of 100 yards or more a football field with one jump just like on the moon <laughs> if the moon was real <laughs> jumping over rivers over houses, barns. They were having a blast. This thing would probably was cool as hell. Cool as shit. Jumping everywhere. <laughs> the World Fair. Showing up those balloons before they destroyed them. Again. The World Fair. Just to show what they had. Then fuck it all up. I've got some newspaper articles. California, San Francisco morning, November 23rd, 1896. A winged ship in the sky. Cleaves the air with the pinion like huge condor. Imagine. Look at the depiction. The drawing of this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Many cities drawn from the description of the inventor. Wow. Another one. November 19, this one, 1896. San Francisco, the airship that passed over Sacramento, it's not even the same one, it's another one. Another kind of airship, crazy one with wings, look at all the people that's all in on this platform, four balloons, propeller, wings steam engine to make it turn I bet these are propellers too crazy shit unbelievable shit man you gonna see again one of the they say the first but I don't believe again in the anger Look at this. They used it to make the World Fair. Probably used it to make a, a station, train station today. Again, Paris, Eiffel Tower with this airship. Probably this 
as a landing pad for the gear shifts. The same with ease they are on the Eiffel Tower photograph the, the same airship and one of the first these one looks like uh, they are ballooning balloon <laughs> making it as a sand look this is 1900 Olympic ballooning <laughs> it was a thing it was an, an, an Olympic sport ballooning that we have today like uh, in Turkey and right here in my own city <clears throat> there are ballooning festival every year look at this one <laughs> what the fuck is this But they use it as a reconnaissance thing. Look, an article from uh, I've got some old books, compilations of uh, news articles. This one from 1796, saying that the French have a hairborne army. Three years now that the French army has two battalions of airships, military airships. <laughs> it starts in 1794. I'm just telling that day I got airships in the army. And from the same article, uh, news book, first woman in space, they say, on in a balloon in 1785. It doesn't say how high, but they say it was in space. <laughs> and look at this. They say she had a privacy carton. We don't know what they were doing in that. <laughs> That's what they say. Imagine. Oh, this this is the book. This is one of the book. This is just a fly first. A fly magazine. And I took a couple of the code from the, this fly magazine showing French, German, English, dirigibles. Got a, this one got an engine. Look, this one's landing on water. All types of airships. The world's youngest aerial knots. 1907. Cromwell Dixon. I don't know. How old was he? I don't. I don't see his age. Probably written. I'm not gonna. Write it all, uh, read it all. Look, <laughs> an ad that was in the, the news. Fly to the new Bingham Hotel, headquarters for aeronauts in Fa Philadelphia. You can land. There are places you can park your airship and debark. To go in the hotel. Look, the only hotel in Philadelphia with direct entrance to the subway. You don't have to go on the streets. So you land on their ship here, go down, go down, take the subway, and visit the, the city. <laughs> Crazy, man. 
they have they had things incredible things in the 1800s that they have hidden from us from the history they have pushed it out or it it's not hidden you can still find it but you got to look deep in history and not believe anything they say to you think again an ad for uh, selling balloons <laughs> look it's adding his balloons advertising his balloons Sam L. Hay King Ridge Avenue Pennsylvania Philadelphia they are given since 1851 <laughs> doing balloons man <laughs> I've got a couple look this one this picture picture I guess from another balloon another ad do not buy a balloon until you have written you have written what? Leslie B had a for sale balloons plain gas envelope the count zeppelin 1900 estimate that there were would be demand right here in America for over 5,000 air vehicles. You know, thousand to five thousand each. <laughs> These giant shit will carry 25 percent. They say that's the largest dirigible yet constructed. Don't know about this. Look, Ed Baldwin's airship company, Captain Thomas Baldwin, New York's leading manufacturer. <laughs> you could buy these things, man. Just like a car, just like a boat. Here's Alexander Graham Bell with his. Fly aircraft technology. <laughs> really weird technology. Look. June 1990. This is his shit. From Nova Scotia. And he said this structure makes him fly. I bet the air that goes through all these holes makes the lift for, for it. I don't know. Then another ad from 1909 balloons. Aeronauts, Leo Stevens. Not the same one. Another one. Another one is Samuel King or Captain Leslie B. Haddock. Just for balloons. Airplane supplies. In the 18 or beginning of 1900s. When you're building or need any supplies for your airship, write us. <laughs> it's not just a thing, it's was an everyone's thing. Everybody. And like I was saying earlier, how they did those photographies and pictures and drawings they, from airships. 1880 made some photograph from kites not even a balloon just camera hanging from a kite imagine that man why does it stay always that the full article talking about the photographies with balloons you take a snapshot read it Again, balloon photography, Egypt, Paris. No, oh, I think this is the first of the other. Why does it always work? France from the airship. 
round trip around the world for one dollar fifty <laughs> and it's the travel and an airship I think I'm just again the same ad from the Baldwin's company again balloon photography these are the ads and this is where Philadelphia Balloon view. What? Is that the Philadelphia Museum now? Yeah. Again, must be of one of these festival ballooning. This is the one a popular guy, um, Nadar Charles, Charles Nadar, no, M, Mr. Nadar, I don't know, he's got a lot of photographies from airship, he had a, an accident, I guess he, he hit a tree, yep, that's, that is photographing Nadar, but how stable you need to have. This thing to take a photograph in the 1800s. I don't think that uh, photography is what they say it is. Look, World Fair in Alaska. You can see here the airship in the sky. Only one, probably was more. Those vanilla skies, it's probably to hide all the airships in the air. Another Centennial Exposition, 1897, this one was what? 1909. Another airship. The only way to make this kind of photograph and then make a drawing or pictures out of it. Airships, another one. This one is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How come I don't know? Uh, I don't know. This one, can see again the airship. Oh man, I wish I knew which one was it. It's in 1905. Use few search again. This one Tokyo Exposition 1914. Where you can see another airship in the air, and I've got uh, I've got one that I took from a video from John Levy. And I, I you can see return by airship. On the background, and this is uh, in New York. It's still there. Look, like these are looks like the kind of balloon that they use for ballooning, but now they use it for another thing. They change the uh, the use for it. Uh, an Indian airship. <laughs> Those uh, vimanas and flying carpets. <laughs> and, you, and you'll see what the technology that I'm talking about. I'll arrive. I have like 400 pictures. Oh, I'll go too fast. Look. Airship landing platform of an airship that looks like a lighthouse but probably would be more effective 
a lighthouse for airships and sea ships because they shoot the light in the air <laughs> another airship 1909 the sunfish army airship they say mm. here's just a patent airship 1874 military airship English military this one is called La Patrie. It must be a French. Yeah, it's a French. Look, I don't know what they are doing right now, but really weird. That thing goes there, but the airship goes this way. <laughs> I don't know. This one. Oh, it's the same. This one. La Patrie. And this is a real picture. Uh, 06, maybe 1906, I don't know. German one. By Susha. I think this is the same as the Pat. No, that's another one. Another type. Another type. This World's Fair in St. Louis, 1904 they say but i think it's older it looks older because in 1900s they're much more intricate that that this one this one looks like a patched up <laughs> airship you know another kind cylinder one another one unbelievable how many they add 1902 this one look at this architecture that just uh, tool for airships you know these weights and pulleys and these balls I'm gonna show you I think this is the technology these are just uh, I think I think this was like a uh, science stories you know the best stories are published in this library they say like for us maybe future stories 1907-02-04 from zone to zone wonderful trip of Frank Reed Jr. with his latest airship but uh, we see Frank Reed had earlier, but I don't know if these were real or just imagination of what they could be. Like this, you know. Nineteen oh three. That's crazy shit. Look at this one. The giant ship. And I, I think they are just extraordinary stories that could be real. So who know? They were able to make crazy things like steam horse. I've seen they had these type of horses. Look at this. The steam submarine land and water <laughs> again mortal engine type of uh, of uh, 
vehicle. The clipper of the prairie. There is your buffalo. <laughs> Frank Reed, the new electric airship, the Eclipse. And he is over China. These pagodas. Again, look at this. Real catamaran of the air. This queen clipper of the clouds. <laughs> it's crazy shit. Very real. Probably. Uh, I can't prove it. Look. Airship. Airship, air, air, balloon, 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 balloon here, balloons, balloon here, balloon here, everywhere. Can maybe even zoom to see that they are not dots. They are balloons. This is the Paris World Fair. That's why I say they probably, that's why they. Vanilla sky, the skies over old pictures. Look again. World Fair. This balloon in the air. Another one. Look here. Airship. <clears throat> Gliding me up. Look. Over the World Fair. Probably there's one here. Oh no, or it's a scratch, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like an airship that is light up from the bottom. Lit up. <laughs> Look how bright was it in, in the 1800s, man. It's crazy. Crazy lights. Again. Another. I'm not gonna show you. Look at this airship down there. And this it's a landing pad for airships. I'm gonna show you later how they did it because there's still remnant of it in this World Fair. This World Fair, St. Louis. Look at this ball and this. What is this? The aerial globe. The airship, where is it going? Here. To land. Drop people. People come out here. To the, uh, the fair. It's crazy how they did. Look. This, this one? Look. It's this one. They have tracks on it. Incredible wheels under passengers, man. And this, <laughs> I have uh, a sketch of a supersonic sub that I designed, and it was this design but for water. Uh, as we see, this water is the same as hair. This is just a rendition of the later there's people here again this the transportation they say exhibit you know they were landing airships dropping people people come out here and probably this was going down to a subway just like the hotel that I showed Again, another exhibition, St. Louis. Look, this is what? This is an airship, probably. Not a bird. There's one here, too. Airships, people. And this is the one I was. John Levi was showing pictures of the World's Fair. Look, they had animals and shit. And I saw this. Behind this head, it's okay. Cannot see the first, but return by airship. It 
was a thing that they tried to destroy with the Eden Edinburgh man. Who would fucking put inflammable gas in a fucking balloon? The most flammable gas ever. Hydrogen. <laughs> Fuck. They're not they were dumb. They use helium and air, hot air. Or just lighter than hair type of ships. Because you can make a balloon without heating the air. Just by having a black balloon and just the sun heating the air inside can make a lift. Look, another one. Look at this. <laughs> it's crazy shit. Again, they were making these night dairy. Old photonic. <laughs> Taking this fix from an old pho sub photonic. And he did a video about airships. Two. And a view from the airship. Look at these, all these things, man. And just three airships and balloons. Two balloons, one airship. I guess they were taking photographs from this with this. And this. In the 1900, there was a contest. Who will make the longest trip in the balloon? Paris to some Kiev. Oh, oh, Tartarian shit. <laughs> From Paris to Kiev. That's just a small. Because I got one a passport that showed that the guy took an airship from germany and landed in brazil and this is a 1933 stamp and it said a century of progress flight so already in 1933 it's been a hundred hundred years that they are flying these shit And, and as I show you, even they were flying in 1700s. History is just all hidden. Occult. An occult history, man. And this is this guy's balloon, August Picard. The guy that went the highest ever and the only way to do it is with a balloon because you can't not take a fucking metal airplane and go high high you can't there are gases so dense up there that nothing can go through you can start to go through but it's coming denser and denser and denser and then you, you you cannot go up anymore just like under the sea and this is picture represent that august picard in 18 went the highest and his brother uh, jout picard went in the lowest place underwater Those Picards, man, they knew their shit or they were paid by royalty to do these type of things, you know. This is where he landed. They went and picked him up. <laughs> I don't know what they were doing in those days. They never had tukes 
or gloves or look this guy is in shorts <laughs> it ain't this winter in the mountains I don't know man <laughs> what's the deal with those old pictures and snow they They, they show him with a coat here, but a, no, just a small coat. This one is sleeveless shirt. <laughs> and 10 miles high. 10, 12. 12 is the highest you can go. 8 miles this is the deepest they did. Dig. And when the guy went this high, the description he said said that the earth was a flat plain with an upturned hedge, just like a bowl. Yeah, just showing what uh, you can do with the balloons. Can go really high. What are those baskets? The, it was a, I think it's a joke basket in the red. Look, that's a picture of August and his brother. It went the lowest and he went the highest. Can they still say that today? But not anymore. And I don't know what happened with this balloon. He said it was burning. Ah. I don't know. And another news article from 1929, Zeppelin in Texas. Again, another Zeppelin, Zephyr, airship. Oh, do you want to call it? Look at this. Just skidding off the water. Another one, 1915. In England? I don't know. Grab Zeppelin. Another Zeppelin over the... Istanbul Zeppelin. Egypt. The Zeppelin third. A bunch of Zeppelin coming. No, that's what that's all before wars. They were just traveling and exploring the the place that we live in, naval airship. 1911, look. And I'll show you how it's made inside. Airship hangar. In construction. 1800s. Look at these type of... Would you go up these fucking ladders? Crazy shit. They say this is 1935. They do this in the 1800s. But it's 1935 now. I think this is older. They have played with this. Look, 1928. Look at this. And construction of it. Oh my god, it's huge. But I don't believe to look at these ladders. It's crazy shit. Again, construction of a and these are plans from airships. Zephyrs, Zeppelins, 
dirigibles, how you want to call it, two days to Europe in a flying hotel. This is what they were imagining. The mammoth transatlantic airliner of 1934 as planned by engineers. There are planes in it. You can land a plane in. That's what they were wanted to do. Another plan. Look at this giant engine in this one. Again, they are making it in Germany. Hamburg, Germany. Another airship hangar. Not cut out. That shows where are the people in the airships. Again, the flying carriers for warplanes. Look, all the planes are inside. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's a plane. Again, showing you. Cabins, the lounge, promenade. And they say, excluded hydrogen. They didn't use hydrogen. Come on. Come on. With metal parts and hydrogen, only a spark can. No way. No way people would take this chance, man. Just like going to space. <laughs> Blocking a hole with your thumb. The dumbest thing ever. Look, people having dinner on an airship, <laughs> looking down. Yeah, landing. Look, these are like landing pads for airships. Staying up in the air. You you get out here. Go up, down. Again. War of some sort, cannons, gatling guns, airships. Again, this guy was his airship, the commander of the airship. And this is what I was talking about, how they land these airships. On these lighthouse or uh, tall buildings. Mooring here. People got out. Come here. Again, the real pictures. This is just a drawing, but this is a real picture. Look. People getting in. Same thing on a boat. Here. This is the towers, lighthouses, or just top of buildings. Look, you can see beacon light. You know, they were four, damn. But now we use it for sh ships. Doesn't make sense. Again, again, another lighthouse, or. An airship docking place, man. Look. Look, on a ship. An airship landing on a ship. Sea ship. Again, not the same picture twice. Said Montreal here. Look. Look what I'm telling you. It's moored on... Empire State Building. Again, look. Look. Building provide mooring mast or ZEPS. They had even an abbreviation. <laughs> so much that they. No, no. Ah, ZEPS. Everybody knows Zeppelins. Little 
need to say the, the full word. Zaps. Come on. We know that. <laughs> Zaps. <laughs> Shit, man. New Yorkers. Man. Boring. Empire State. Zeppelin. Come on, man, people. Landon. Platforming. In Germany. Zeppelin. Ready to come out. And look. Now what they can do. They can invert and stay in that position. So much control they have of these things. It's gonna more. Again. Incredible shit. Hidden. Or just hidden from our knowledge. Look. Look at this. Airship station. Looks like a prison. With a mast. But it's an airship station. Just drawings, 1934, World's Fair, Chicago, and airship. 1933, Zeppelin tag, Chicago. Look, it came from Germany to Chicago in 1933. There was no wars in that time. Again, Goodyear Blimp, World's Fair, 19. Oh, Chicago, 1904. I don't, not sure. But this, our depiction from the 1800, what the year 2000 in the future would look like, okay? You will see that they thought because airship was the thing that they thought that we will have airships everywhere. The lighthouse, airship, airship. In the year 2000, an aerial battleship with cannons and shit. People, look at this. This one, I've seen in an old sketch. Look, giant houseboat. Year 2000, that's what we're gonna have. Again, airship wings, flying ship, <laughs> self propeller, wings to hunt birds. <laughs> and this, this, this one is pretty weird. How oh, our grandsons will live in the Year 2012, okay? It's an airplane projecting a moon. And here, it's written, The Return of the Moon. I, I don't know what they mean by that. <laughs> it's, it's bizarre. Again, German, what we will look in, two ta in the year 2000. <laughs> Airbuses going past Antarctic. <laughs> Lines of them. Then people. Hi. We're just traveling, flying everywhere because we can, and there's nobody, no government. Stopping us from seeing truths and going where we want. Look, <laughs> balloonings again. What? Even. <laughs> They're walking on water with balloons. Look, <laughs> even the horse. <laughs> Just crazy look again. Boston in the future. Just like in Germany. Nope. Not going to happen. 
Because some people wanted to make money. Man, come on. You have fucked all us up by doing this corporate shit. Look how free people were, man. Driving steam cars, electric cars, electric trams, lighter than airships, going where they want, when they want, doing what they want. Nobody was hurting anyone. They were living in peace. And you had to create wars to make these things not believable. By thinking we are always at war with each other. You can make these type of things. Look at this. This is, was the old world. Everybody was flying, man. Everyone was flying. Going everywhere. Seeing the beautiful place that we live in. Not wars. Not death. There was no such thing as death. Only by another man. Look at this. A vein in the 20th century. Flying casinos, man. They were thinking that we will have flying casinos. You know why? Because they had big fucking ships in the air already. If you don't have big fucking ships in the air, how can you think... They will have fucking flying city. Look at this. Houses. Flying houses. Even in the 1900s. Look, we will have skyscrapers with landing pads on it. Not so long ago, they were still planning. It's all went to shit now. With the re shit fucking thing. Not this description of what they could be. Probably could. Giant the Edinburgh. The infamous Edinburgh. <laughs> the story that they took for all the airship. Stop the airships. Again, Washington. Everyone was using airship again. Washington landed. An airship landing on Washington. Lawn. Again, airship. This is in Brazil, I think. Airships here. Ship there, airship everywhere, man. Again, yeah, one here, boats, and then military took over. Look at this. Where is this? I don't know, but it's smoking. Something happened. Looks like something just melted everywhere, man. And the only way to escape it by airship. Look, oh, how come it's not burning and in flames, like the Edinburgh? No, man, they had other crashes. They didn't went up in flame and blow up. Look, it crashes. It's only broken, because what's in it? It's only hot air or helium. Look at this one. It says, slate all metal. Dirigible. <laughs> Shit. Look at this planes flying around. They were dropping bombs with this ship. It's not even wartime yet. That's all before. What do you think happened? There was no war. Look at this size of this. Again. Airships, man, everywhere. 
they were exploring the world and see, I don't know what this is looks like it's blurred but no oh, he's shooting at it he's shooting something at it <laughs> what maybe it's war and there's only one War is not what they tell us. It's the theater of war. When they call it the theater, it's not. There's a reason for it, man. Again, airships. I think we're gonna go faster. Look, cannons and airships. Fall of Antwerp in 1940. I just showed you pictures of, uh, of before. They weren't at war. They weren't at war. They're making airships and flying everywhere. Again, <laughs> an airship. Oh yeah, they they didn't construct the Empire State for airships. Come on, nah. Again, airships. All kind of airships everywhere, all over the world, all over the years. Look at this one in the Arctic. They went to visit, man, explore. <laughs> That's the craziest one. Probably they could do this type of shit. Probably they had. Probably what we think is. Sea ship nor airships. I don't know. It's like inventing. No, oh, man. They want to dumb us down like crazy. Like, yeah, caveman invented the wheel. Man. Any little child, any child that throws rocks on the ground will see that a round rock will roll. In a flat one will not you don't need to invent a wheel of stone what they say that the wheel the stone wheel that prehistoric man made they're not what they say they say they are wheels those dumb asses yeah they're wheels they are meal wheels to grind grain or other thing not wheels to make on guard Oh, it is the dumbest thing ever. Just like an airship. Just throw something lighter than hair in the air and you'll see it fly. <laughs> they want to say that science is hard and dumb. Man, it's the easiest thing ever. Just like life. Look, it's a passport. It's an airship passport. Via the Condor. Look, it went from Almania. It went from Germany to Argentina. Buenos Aires. Friday Schaffen was stamped in Germany. And the same one, this, this one was the Graf Zeppelin. Miami to the Netherlands. He went to one, two, three, four places in his trip. Look, from here to here to here. The triangle. <laughs> Looks like you permit me the triangle. Again, North, North America. The Deutsche Zeppelin. In New York, and they say oh, oh, uh, three days to come from to America. Again, Chicago's Warfare Centennial Progress, eighteen thirty-three. Hmm. 
Look, they are these kind of planes. Sea planes. Look at this one. All these people. Are, are they boarding? Again. Airship hangers. Airships everywhere. Coming out, this kind of airship, I don't know what it is. Look at this. Destruction everywhere. They blew this shit up, but this, what is this? It's an airship landing tower. Again, New York, London. <clears throat> Can go, go for a long time, we're almost done. This is inside of the bunkers and the airships for the military they say again. Look at this. Camo. <laughs> they were camouflage. Again, the graph we call it. Would be the most popular one. And the infamous Sittenberg. Look at these props. Again, airship. Airship, steamboats, steam ship, steam cars everywhere. Look, Zeppelin, the third. They were flying this shit everywhere, man. Germany. Again, cut out. Two types of Zeppelin, 1928, 1929, again they say they're bombing, over New York, US Navy, Olympics, in Germany, yeah. what year was this, I don't Written, did not write it. Another type of <laughs> on a bus. This one is more on a bus. <laughs> airship here, another ship, airship there. City of Glendale. They're making airships. Look at the ground here and see it's for airships. Another Zeppelin. Rio de Janeiro. Again, this must be in Rio. Nice airship. By the Russians. <laughs> Another airship in Russia. Graf Zeppelin. Over the pyramids, what happened in the top? The count in his zeppelin. Visit Ooh, Hotel Sinclair is probably landing here. Again, this is in Toronto. This is the uh, Bank of Commerce in Toronto, probably was landing in air. New York. Mm, this one. I think it's Quebec. Airship in Quebec. Airship in San Francisco. One here. Another here. Another here. Another one here. And now the war starts. And they are bombing everything with airship. I don't know what kind of this. Everything is burning. Airship dropping bombs. What's going on? Not even 10 years before everybody was happy and traveling everywhere open. What happened man? What happened to people? 
Who are those crazy people that took over our lives, man? <laughs> this one. I, I don't know. <laughs> 1925 League and Zephyr. Looks like a submarine. I don't know if it's Photoshop or what, but this is crazy. Again, Mr. Graf with his Zeppelin. Is it? Man, there was so much. Look, <laughs> the same. Hey, look at this ladder, man. What? What's holding this? I bet they're locked. <laughs> oh shit. Again, landing. USS Macomb. Mason. Again, look. This is inside of the Goodyear blimp. The blimps that they still use today. Look at this one. Hospital. On an airship. The Zephyr. That looks like the Zephyr I just showed. The, the, the submarine one. I don't know if it was real or not. But by the these pictures and the tech technology they had, probably. Look at this. A balloon lighting up. The troops. <laughs> what? Again, giant airship hangar. The US Akron, the Goodyear Zeppelin dock. Another Zeppelin landing. Lighter than hair. Ships. It's not hydrogen. Ships. The Edinburgh. I don't know what it's shooting. What is this? Did I pass those? Ship, US Navy. They are doing, let's see this. They just, I think that they just found out, re found the technology of airships because the older one, they were, they were much more, much bigger and they had big platforms and ships underneath. But these were just too big for nothing, I don't know. Again, he's letting out shit. Fleet of these Goodyear blimps. 1929. Again. Demonstration of what they could do. And a ship, an airship that crashed but didn't go up in flames because there was no hydrogen in it. Again, it just crashed, broken. And what I was saying earlier, what they, the only thing that they go and recover is those balls. Look. Those big balls, look, they only want this. Again, they only want this, and it looks like it's heavy. Look, those Germans, they don't even know what they found. They don't know what is this, man. Look, there's, is it what they were dropping? Bombs? Or what? It's a technology that 
make this thing lift i don't know but what are these <laughs> even this guy oh, what is this man he doesn't even know look they found one he crashed out another one there's no covering anywhere this this thing must be old it was crashed for a long time they probably just found it like that and wondered what what the fuck was this man and then they reversed engineer and they tried to make it but they only make these small ones and Goodyear blend that they still use today this was in uh, what date was this 1933 century of progress 1924 this one 33 33 yep and Look, they showed a zeppelin falling down, blowing up, and I don't know. It's not even made of hydrogen. And the infamous zeppelin, Hindenburg, crashing. That ended all the, the era of airships. No, man, it crashed. Look, it, it's so dangerous. It's dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous when you put fucking hydrogen, flammable hydrogen in it. And today we use these balloons to put this type of things on it. Satellites. This is a real satellite. They use weather balloons like this. And these are the new type of airships that NASA use. They can put this up in the sky and it can stay there for years collecting data. Look. But these are not for people. These are for data collection. Just like satellites. Why do you need these type if you have satellites? Because these are the satellites. And this is the biggest airship made in the modern era. Can put military people in it. And it's made by Lockheed and Martin. And look at this is Pepe Le Pew. Should be banned. <laughs> oh my god. crazy and this is not airships well thanks for sticking with me all this time looking to these airships and by this you can know that they have hidden this technology from us or they just lost it something happened and they lost the technology and they tried to remake it but couldn't make it as well as they did before so that's what happened and we could go anywhere we want with these things because anybody can make it in his backyard so thanks everyone for this you know, stream and See you on the next one.